One-third of Mexico's tourism revenue comes from Cancun alone each year. Millions of visitors visit Cancun to take advantage of the magnificent city. In 2018, the nation's tourist industry brought in a total of $22.51 billion. Whether you're a family searching for excitement, a group of friends looking for a party, or a couple looking for a romantic trip, Cancun is the ideal destination. However, it's regrettable that a small fraction thrives on taking advantage of innocent visitors who come to support their local economy. In these wonderful places we travel, while there are undoubtedly some dark parts of the nation, let's take a look at the world of darkness to offer you a complete picture of the city's other side. Here we go! Numerous visitors worldwide fall victim to advanced frauds that trick eager travelers into sending money to criminals, often in the thousands of dollars or even just their credit card information. With an increase in visitors, the issue has gotten worse in Cancun. Criminals profit from the heightened interest in a location and are successful in persuading unwary clients seeking a good deal. Tourists are even more likely to take advantage of what seems to be an outstanding deal as travel expenses rise globally, which the criminals are taking advantage of. Then you must employ taxis if Uber, and its alternatives are not offered in a particular location. Mexico's Cancun is no exception Ask the driver to start the meter every time you get into a taxi in Cancun. It's also a good idea to plan your route before getting in the cab so you know how long the ride should be. By doing so, you can get an estimate of how long the trip will take from your taxi driver before you get in and compare it to the time that Google Maps or Waze tells you on your phone. At a Cancun ATM cash machine, someone approaches you and offers to help you avoid bank fees in the area. The card skimmer in their pocket is what they really want to use to scan your debit or credit card while you enter your PIN, so that they can later drain your account. Another variation of this well-known con is when someone approaches you at an ATM and offers to help you fix your card. Always use your hand to occlude the number pad as you input your PIN code. Even if it's lies, declining any assistance when at an ATM, it's still preferable to travel with credit cards with no transaction fees and cash that can be exchanged at a nearby bank in Cancun, Mexico. Beware of the following scam if hooking up is something you plan to do while visiting Cancun. Two amiable girls or guys will strike up a conversation and make you think that there is a shared interest. They will then offer you to join them at a bar nearby and advise that you go for a drink. You'll end up paying five to 10 times more after a few drinks. They will offer to chip in a tiny bit, but if you don't pay up, the bar bodyguards will take you to an ATM, so you can get the money you need to cover the bill. Many establishments in Mexico, including some very large resorts, have been known to water down their alcoholic beverages in order to save money on bar supplies. Though it happens less frequently now, occasionally the booze is combined with something harmful, making some tourists severely ill. Asking for the alcohol by brand and being very detailed in your order are the best ways to prevent this from occurring to you. You can receive very cheap watered-down gin if you order a gin and tonic. Asking for a Bombay Sapphire and tonic increases your chances of receiving genuine food. Your natural reaction when someone puts a piece of white paste on your shoulder as you're walking through Cancun streets is to look up, thinking it's bird dung. Suddenly, a nice neighbor resident offers to assist you with the cleanup while cursing at the birds for making such a mess. They assist with cleaning you, but they also rob you Please politely decline any help offered by the locals who rush over to help you, unless it's an emergency. Keep everything you own hidden, preferably with your money and credit cards in an inside pocket. It's a little too simple to believe the terrible tales you might be told by total strangers, which frequently involve having their luggage, passport, or money taken. According to the nation's infamous reputation for a taxi, they might want as little as $10 or as much as $200 for a fare home. Always ignore anyone who asks you for money without your permission. They should go to their embassy and the police instead if they have indeed lost their goods. You might not get your phone back if you give it to a stranger who asks to make an emergency call. Nearly all major tourist destinations in Mexico have a line of vendors selling souvenirs. At least one of them typically advertises that they have real silver jewelry or historical artifacts in store. Given Mexico's extensive history and strong silver mining sector, this isn't altogether impossible. The reseller may even display a license that appears official and declares that they are an authorized dealer in silver. Why don't they open a proper store if they have real silver goods to sell, one wonders. 
Besides fake purses, cheap, brilliantly colored sombreros, and plastic keychains, there's no actual silver in it. Visit a reputable store if you're seeking something high-end and real. Be careful to negotiate hard and settle on a reasonable price if you want a cheap souvenir. You might hear a price listed in mine dollars when you're purchasing a souvenir, especially close to the numerous ancient sites in Mexico. For instance, a little carving might only cost $3 million, which seems affordable. Let's move past the fact that the Mayan civilization did not have a formal currency and instead conducted much of its trade through bartering and get right to the point. $3 million are equivalent to 30 US dollars. Now that you're aware that mine money doesn't exist, this scam is unfortunately quite simple to prevent. In almost every region of the world, pickpockets aren't an unwelcome reality. Mexico is no exception. They naturally occur more frequently near busy, congested areas like marketplaces, bus stops, nightclubs, and the subway in Mexico City. Be cautious of anyone approaching you or attempting to divert your attention, because the strategies used here are the same as they are anywhere else in the world. Keep your valuables safe with the majority of them locked up in your hotel room, as this is the best method of prevention against pickpockets. Reduce the amount of cash you carry on you and avoid keeping your wallet or phone in your back pocket when you're in crowded public spaces. Keep your handbag or backpack zipped up, and if you can, carry it on your chest. Although it's often safer to pay in cash in Mexico, even this has risks. If you give a shopkeeper or cab driver a 500 peso note, they might subsequently say you gave them a 50 peso note with a little deception, due to how similar the two notes appear. You'll frequently believe them. Alternatively, the note could miraculously change into a damaged or fake one that they won't accept, leaving you with nothing and carrying worthless money. Use smaller bills and try to provide as near to the requested amount as you can to prevent this. It's important to mention that damaged bills can be used in Mexico or they can be freely exchanged at a bank when you return a fake note to the merchant before you leave. They should exchange it for a genuine one if you find it among your change. As tourism is on the rise, travelers should always think twice before providing their personal information. Some fraud schemes may look for credit card information instead of money, as well as memberships in brand loyalty programs. I hope you all enjoyed this roller coaster ride. By the way, how did you experience knowing this city? What country or city would you like to see in the next video? Comment to tell us while subscribing to our channel and roll the key to hit the bell icon to get notified from us for the upcoming videos. See you all next time. Adios.